Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Joni Young if you're new here and I'm an acrylic artist and instructor. Today I'm going to show you all on this 9x12 canvas how to paint this fantasy teacup. We're going to be using some of these following colors. If I add any more I'll be sure to let you guys know as well as I'll leave a full list of all the colors and brushes below the video in the description box. We've got titanium white, phthalo blue, turquoise burnt aqua green, uh, cadmium yellow light hue, neon rose, neon orange, burnt sienna, and Mars black. So the first thing I want to do is creating a light and colorful pastel background. Then I'll be freehanding and show you guys how you can just freehand uh, images and like this teacup by breaking it down into simple shapes. So let's get started with the first brush. And I'm going to be using my one inch mop brush. And I'm just going to get it a little bit wet so that I can easily blend the paint around. So let's see. I think I want to have a little bit of white first and a little bit of that neon orange. So I'm just going to go right over the canvas in swirls, swirling and traveling around with my brush. Okay, the next color, I'm going to take a bit more white, a little bit of phthalo blue, and my rose. These together are going to make a really pretty violet color. I'm going to start down here, and I'm going to continue swirling around with my brush. I'm going to add a little bit more white and blue this time. Now I'm going to come right in this area in between that rose violet color. And up around the top. So I'm just going to take a little bit of white and a tiny bit of that yellow now and I'm going to come up here and apply it slightly over part of that orange so we get a soft glow right there. Now for my teacup I'm going to use a filbert brush and because I'm painting on a small canvas I'm using a small filbert. This one's a number two. You can use one a little bit Sorry, <laughs> you can use one a little bit larger or smaller if you want. You can also use a round brush. I like this because it's got enough width that I can kind of fill in uh, my teacup after I outline it. And it's round, so I can easily make those round uh, outlines uh, for this uh, teacup. So I'm going to just start with uh, black and a little bit of burnt sienna. Get just a little bit of water on my brush here. And so like I mentioned earlier, I'm just going to break this down into simple shapes. So uh, the bottom part of the teacup, we're going to place right here. And I'm just going to do a little diagonal line like this. And then over here, another one. And we're going to go across. Okay. We're going to scoop down, create like a half circle or a smile. And we're going to bring it up and out so it's wider at the top and then gets a little bit narrower down here. Then we're going to do a line that scoops a little bit down like this and then the other scoop goes over. So under and over or a really flat long oval. Okay, so I'm going to paint this in now. Because we're going to make this into a fantasy 
little teacup house and world, I am going to be adding some dark green moss and foliage. And this is a really good base. It's nice and earthy. It's a dark, dark, fudgy brown color or espresso, espresso. And I'm going to paint this inside here as well. I'm not going to paint inside here yet because I'm not really sure if I'm going to have um, something coming up here with water around. So I'm going to leave that as is. And now we're going to work on the little saucer. So this is going to be another oval, not as flat as that one. We're going to start it right about here. And come around. like that. Now we're on the edge here. We're going to go down like this because we're going to see the underside here. I'm going to bring this black and brown down a little bit lower. Gonna soften these edges. A little bit of water on my brush. And we're going to bring this down a little bit lower, another little scoop like this, and then flat on the bottom. Now I'm going to just loosen this paint off with a little bit of water on my brush and start shading. So it's sort of like going to be a grayscale painting first, but in burnt sienna and black. And it's really important to have these shadows before we add our color when we want something to look like water. You just gain a little bit more depth to your paintings this way. So I'm just going to carefully go over this as well. I'm going to bring the edges up here, come around and really just clean this up and round it out a little bit more. And then we're going to have a little dab right here, right here, and then we're going to start pulling in almost touching that teacup for an exaggerated swirly handle. I'll load my brush up again. Just 
twist and pull into the cup. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is start adding some foliage and I'm going to take one of my oval mop brushes, this is a one inch, and I'm going to make a dark green by taking some the cadmium yellow light hue or cool, any cool uh, yellow you have will work or you can use an olive green if you have that, I'm just making it because I'm all out of my olive green. So I'm just going to tap in here. And I'm going to go across the top like this, tap, tap, tap. And then I'm going to follow the shape of my teacup. Right down to the bottom. And you know it's going to dry a little bit darker, so don't worry if you feel like it's a bit too bright. I personally like the way this looks right now. I like using the oval mop brush um, for pieces like this because it's a little bit narrower compared to the round so I can still get that fluffy perfect foliage and moss finish texture but I feel like I have a little bit more control too. I can fit it in better. I'm just going to go around and leave that space in the center and if you happen to go over it that's fine. You can always go back in. I'm going to go around the saucer, turn my brush and then when I get so this way upright then turn I'm going to load my brush up again, push and squish it flat like that, and then I'm going to have my brush this way again, like I did here. Maybe a little bit more black, a little bit more paint, I'm going to have a little bit more on my brush this time. Turn. And then I'm just going to have some moss around the base here and the edge. Just little taps and wiggles, loosening some of that paint off. I'm going to be a little bit more generous down here at the bottom. Add a little bit down here, follow along with this shape. bit more. A little bit more of that yellow, a little bit of white. And I'm going to start coming up over the little handle here. I'm going to squish my brush a little bit more. Then as we get down here, I'm going to bring it up. I'm going to change it over a little bit. So over top, then right at this point, 
and you bring it around. Add a little bit more here. I'm just going to take this off. I'm going to use uh, my number four Filbert now and add a little bit more highlights. I decided to wash that other brush out, my oval one, just because it was uh, starting to dry out at the top of it and I don't want to ruin those brushes. I really like them. Those were by Princeton, by the way, if you're curious. You can get them. Uh, I got mine at Michael's, but you can get them, I believe, on Amazon too. So just continuing along with some bright highlights here. And that's just that cadmium yellow light hue with a little bit of white in there. I like this light that we're capturing here in this teacup. We have uh, something that really looks 3D. And you can see how easily you can achieve that. Sometimes we look at these tutorials or paintings, pictures that we see, and we're like, I could, I could never paint that. Well, I'm here to show you guys that you can. Add a little bit of light in here on the inside part of this handle. Okay, and I'm going to create some pretty little flowers here along the side I just decided. A little bit of that neon rose. If you don't have neon rose, just use any uh, pink that you have or even magenta. So I'm just going to do the simplest flowers here that I think are always pretty. They kind of look like daisies. Pull towards the center. Use a little bit of, a little bit more white in here. Do a little dab in the center like that. So the way I'm holding the brush, I'm pulling from the end of the brush up towards the center of the flower. Okay, and then I'm just gonna give it a little dab like that. You can make the center of your flower any color that you want. You can make it darker or lighter. You can use a smaller brush even if you want it. Little liner brush works. Little round brush. Maybe it's just a few little flowers like that. I'm choosing um, these colors because I think that they're pretty. See, it's the purple and that yellowy green are very complementary. So I'll add a few over here as well. Make some a little bit darker. So we have um, a variation of tones. Light and dark, it's important. I'll take a little bit of white. And I'll dot the center.
We'll also go over some of the petals. I'll just rinse out the excess paint there and go back over to my rose color here that's turning violet from a bit of that blue in there. Now a little bit of white. Pull, 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 and towards the center of the flower. I'm going to use a liner brush now. This is uh, number two. And I'm just going to get it a little bit wet. Make that olive green color again with my yellow and my black. A little bit of water if I didn't mention that. It's important <laughs> to have some water. I'm going to add a few little dabs inside the center of the flower, as well as some stems. So just little lines like this. Need a little bit more paint on my brush. I'm gonna create some uh, little scrolls. Make it look viney and I, I like this scrolly look that we have here. And it's the easiest brush to use for creating little small scroll work like this. I've got a number two round brush here. I'm going to get it just a little bit wet. I'm going to take some of that uh, phthalo blue and white, a little bit of turquoise. And I'm going to add it inside my cup. Then with a little bit of water on my brush, I'm going to go inside the saucer and fill that up with some tropical water. Take a little bit of white, tiny bit of that turquoise. Take just a little bit more white. Okay, and I'm going to add a little window, maybe a little door, and it doesn't have to make sense. It's fantasy. I'm just doing whatever comes to my mind, I'm not thinking about if it makes sense or not. I'm going to add a little window right here with my number two round brush still. A little window there, maybe another one right here. You can make circle shape windows, um, arched ones or little square ones even. It's up to you. And then I'm going to have a little door down here with a little window in it. And then I'm going to go into my burnt sienna with a little bit of black. And we're going to go around the edges.
And there we've got a little door. I'm going to add some trim and some shutters here for my windows. Just thin rectangles. That's all you have to tell yourself. Lines, rectangles and squares and ovals. I'm telling you, it just makes it so much easier. I'm going to take, while I'm thinking of it, a little bit of white or yellow. There might be a little bit of white in there. A few little stairs there. Well, it's going to dry a little bit darker. I just soften that slightly. I'm going to add a little bit of white to my burnt sienna and add a few lines in my shutters here just to make it stand out a little bit. Oops. Hope you guys are enjoying this tutorial and getting lots of ideas. Feel free to paint along. Okay, I'm just going to go back over to my little liner brush, get it a little bit wet. Take that black, brown and water mixture. And I'm just going to do a line down the middle and across. Line down the middle and across. Same on the door. And I think it would be fun to have some little flowers by the windows here, little window boxes. So I'm just going to tap in my pretty colors, my violet, and some orange. We've got some flowers here by the door as well. We have just a little waterfall, I think. A little bit of water on my brush, white and turquoise. And maybe we'll just have it kind of spilling over. I'll pull and drag across the center first. Have a little bit coming out the side and then that's why we've got water, that beautiful water down here. Use a little bit more water on my brush this time. And pull and drop. And we've even got some coming over the edge here, continuing. I think I'll take some turquoise and a little bit of blue, a little bit of water in my brush. I like this little bit of pink in here, so I don't want to cover all that up, that pinky background that we have. Okay, now I'm going to do a highlight. Create a highlight here, a little bit of white, and pull and drop. Last highlight here before I call this painting all done. So I'll go in again with my oval brush, a little bit of yellow and white. And I'm just gonna add a little 
tap, tap, tap here. Maybe just a little bit more on the edges here. And a little bit amongst and around the flowers. So as I finish up this painting, I'm just going to add a few little bits of green vines here on these little window boxes. I want to thank you guys so much for all of your support here on my channel and for painting along, tagging me in all your wonderful versions of my paintings. Some really talented uh, viewers out there. I love seeing them. So thanks again, everybody. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for more and give this video a like if you enjoyed watching it. Leave a comment below or a question. And I'll see you guys all soon in another video. Thanks again for watching. Bye.